Hello, I'm Dr. Wickham Simons. I'm an obesity medicine specialist from the Triangle region of North Carolina, and this is Obesity Medicine Perspective. So it's been a little while since we've uh, made some videos, and uh, I wanna pick up in the new year uh, with some videos that deal with the whole idea of ketogenic diets, or uh, uh, for short, keto. A lot of patients, I think, that misunderstand uh, this concept, uh, and although I teach it for a living, uh, and have taught many, many patients uh, this kind of diet, uh, there remains in people who aren't really uh, operating in those circles a misunderstanding of the terms uh, involved. So when you hear keto, it's just short for ketogenic. Um, and what that means is, is that uh, when you burn fat uh, as your primary energy source, you generate molecules called ketones. And there's actually three different ones, and I'll get into that in subsequent videos, but what you uh, need to know is that the term keto is just short for a state that your body is in where you're burning fat as the primary energy source and generating ketone molecules. Now, these are detectable in your urine and in your blood and in your breath. And uh, <clears throat> I think that um, when I hear patients use this term keto, I then ask them what they're doing, and then I begin to hear all sorts of things as if uh, some person or a company or whatnot had a, you know, some corner on this diet. You know, they have this particular keto diet that no one else has. Well, that, that's not true. What really is the, the deal kind of is like this, just to simplistically think of it. When you cut your carbohydrate count, below a certain figure, usually about it's under 50 grams a day, but for most people under about 20 to 30 for sure. Once you cut your carbohydrate gram count per day down below that, you are gonna have to burn fat as your primary energy source and you will generate ketones. And whatever method you use to do that, that is a ketogenic diet. So it can look like a lot of different things, but the bottom line is uh, that's what's involved. Now insulin, will keep you from getting into ketosis. It'll keep you from generating these ketones. And the only way you're gonna raise that insulin level is doing the things that I've told you not to do in the past, which is to eat sugar in all of its forms, which is to eat uh, refined grain in all of their forms. That's breads, crackers, cereals, noodles, that sort of thing, whole wheat or not. Once you eat those things, your blood sugar's going up, and then you're gonna have to make insulin to control that, and you will no longer be in ketosis. Now the third class of food, I, I mentioned sugar and refined grains, but the third thing is starches. So that'd be rice and potatoes. That breaks down very quickly in your gut uh, and uh, rapidly rises your blood sugar or raises your blood sugar and then you get this insulin surge and then you are not in ketosis. So uh, to understand the term keto and ketogenic, keto is short for ketogenic, it simply means to burn fat as your primary energy source and to generate ketones. You cannot do this in the presence of a high insulin level and you get that by eating the carbohydrates I've already mentioned. So now that you kind of understand that, uh, we can go forward in the subsequent videos in explaining why ketones are beneficial for your health and how they help you lose weight and, uh, and uh, more details on uh, diet measures you can take to make sure that you stay in ketosis. So until we uh, talk again, I'll give you the tools, you give me the effort, and together we overcome obesity.